Hello, this is Joe Wiles with the Rock and Roll Conservatory, and you're watching Today in Rock History. Today is September 2nd, and on this day in 1989, Ozzy Osbourne was arrested and charged with threatening to kill his wife, Sharon. Ozzy was released on the condition that he go into detox immediately. The case was later dropped when the couple decided to reconcile, and if that's not rock and roll, I don't know what is. In honor of Ozzy's craziness, we're going to learn Crazy Train. Let's take a look. To start the song off, we're going to do the punch hits that begin the Crazy Train. It starts on the second fret of the low E string. Sounds like this. Next, A string open. Then E string open. And back to the second fret. Followed by fifth fret of the A string. Open E string. Second fret, E string. Then again, open A string twice. Open E string. Then second fret of the E string. And then to end it off, we'll go seven and five on the A string. Excuse me, five and seven. Anyway, all together it sounds like this. Then we will learn the signature riff from this song, which goes second fret of the low E string. Put your uh, ring finger on the fourth fret of the A string. Back to the low E string, second fret. Pinky on the fifth fret of the A string. Back to the second fret of the low E string. Back to the fourth fret of the A string. Back to the second fret of the low E string. Okay, so it sounds like this. Then we're gonna go second fret A string. 5th fret, low E string, 4th fret, back to 5th fret, repeat, open E string, repeat. That bit sounds like this. All together, it, to speed, that riff sounds like this. What band in rock and roll history was synonymous with crowd riots? Join us tomorrow and we'll find out.